Welcome back guys to another food adventure. Today I'm here in Chiang Mai Chinatown to explore a cuisine that has been fusioning here for hundreds of years between the Chinese and the Thai people. My name is Bert. I traded my drumsticks in for chopsticks and now I'm on a journey around the world to explore music, culture, food and live life to the fullest. What's going on you guys? Today I'm here in Chiang Mai and I am going to be going to Chinatown right now and I just along the way found this amazing looking sausage stand so I'm going to try some of their sausage here. This is the vermicelli noodle sausage with a little bit of pork inside. One original and then one mala. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then should I get some fresh vegetables? Do yes, I get those? Maybe you want to oh, enjoy okay. Thank you very much. Perfect. Part of the problem with eating on the street is the logistics. You don't really have any chairs in some of these stands, but I had to try these sausages. They are very hot right off the grill. And they even give you some of these little toppings to go with it. Some fresh cabbage, some ginger, some garang, uh, and also green hot chili peppers and some red hot chili peppers. Mm. Oh yeah. This is the original sausage right here, vermicelli sausage. And so that's the little small noodles that they pack in there. And it's got a casing made from the animal's intestines, but then they got the meat inside that's between the vermicelli. Here we go, let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's really nice, you guys. That is a really good sausage. Comes out so hot and blazing. What you do is you take a little bit of this cabbage and then you mix it with the uh, sausage bite for bite. Mm. Now is the time when I'm going to try the mala sausage. This is the uh, hua jiao in Chinese. It's a very common pepper that comes from Sichuan. It's just very numbing. It's not really like a minty kind of numbing. It's like full on going to the dentist, having an injection of some of that Novocaine and that's how numbing this can be when you eat a lot of it. But yeah, this is probably a very small amount that's in here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Actually, I believe this was the Malatang sausage or the Mala sausage. This is the normal sausage. There's not much numbing going on. It's just a small amount of Mala in there. Pretty good though. Good sausage. This one is the original, this is the mala. They got sweeter variety of ginger. It's a little bit more sweet and less spicy. That's the more sweet one. It's like been soaked in sugar or something. And then they got the more spicy one. Mm. A little bit of spicy pepper. And then the, the ginger. Mm. Okay, these peppers are pretty spicy, honestly. I've only been eating the green ones. Let's try a red one. Mm. Oh yeah. Really good with that mala flavor sausage. Gives you a little bit more of that kick. Definitely check out this guy. He's here, I think, most of the days. He's right on the east side of Chiang Mai, old city. It's right on the canal. And uh, yeah, there's a couple little shops along here. Some other little restaurants, but yeah, he makes just sausage. That's his expertise. Mm. That was an amazing sausage, you guys. But now we are going to Chinatown. It's got like a kind of a Chinese market area. Also, some goods where you can buy a lot of things from China and from Thailand. It's a market that closes at 5 p.m., which is actually coming up pretty soon. And then there's also the night market that comes in after that that's in the area. And so, yeah, we're right on the east side. This is a moat right here. And then there's the old temples that are inside this old city. There's also temples outside this city. And then there's also kind of a wall area, but the wall has been for the most part destroyed, but there's sections of the wall that are still around. So you can really get an image of what this city looked like 300 or 400 years ago. 
There is a huge Chinese population that lives inside of Thailand and here in Chiang Mai. And as you can see, there's Chinese writing. The Chinese migrants that migrated here back in the 1970s and 80s, and even before that, even hundreds of years ago, they of course have kept to their roots and they still read Chinese till this day. And they also speak fluent Thai. The Chinese are definitely integrated in the Thai culture and have been accepted very much so. They've been here for generations to generations and they really love Thai cooking. So you're gonna find even the Chinese sections of town, they got their own style of cooking that's not really identical to Chinese, but it's got some of the characteristics of Chinese. And then it's got a lot of Thai spices and Thai additives inside of their cooking. But you also have the Thai people that take on some of the really amazing Chinese cultures and cuisines and they put their own Thai twist to that too. So it's just a really awesome fusion here in Thailand. Okay, you guys, I'm right across the street from the Chinese market, but I found something that I gotta try. Thai tea ice cream, which I'm sure it's gonna be really sweet and really not good for me, but I just love Thai tea and I love ice cream, so let's give it a try. On the top, uh, Thai tea ice cream, have ice cream. Sold out already. Finish. No ice cream. What time have ice cream? Tomorrow? Ice cream tomorrow? No ice cream. Tomorrow, huh? Tomorrow or the next day? Monday. Cancel ice cream. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Cup on cup. Thank you. You can find all sorts of things here toys for kids, flowers. You can find Chinese lanterns. You can find a lot of dried fruit here. You can find so many different things. Huge market, getting a lot of raw produce and also a lot of dried processed produce. And uh, pork rinds you can find. You can even find yourself some, some worms. And I think that you fry them up and you eat them as a crunchy snack. But they also have got medicinal purposes, I believe, also for those. You might grind them up and put them on foods or other things. So yeah, they got all kinds of stuff here. Preserved fruit right here. Lots of spices. The aroma here is very turmeric-y, uh, very spicy. It just has got like a special smell to it. Just, it smells like Thailand, that's all I can say. They have a lot of tea for sale here. Lots of green tea, just tons of different varieties. And uh, they sell t-shirts, dresses, everything pretty much you can think of. Some of the vendors have already closed up shop because I'm coming in a bit late right now because I wanted to hit the market and hit the night market, which has got more food at it. They also have food here, but it's not so much selection at this place. People are kind of packing up and getting their inventory back into their shop. It's very nice though. And then uh, you got some nice purses right here. The candy is pretty much all Thai style candies and uh, made locally here, I believe. It's a lot of fun. You know, they got durian candies, lots of mango candies, and uh, oh yeah, nuts, and fruits, dried fruits, and uh, just a lot of great stuff. Made in China? In Thailand. Thailand, oh. Yes. And it, Thai? No, no, it's okay. Um, is, it, is it for medicine, or is it for frying, or just eat now? Yes, like, eat yes, now. Oh, eat now. Yes. Is it good for you? Is it good, like good for your body? Oh really? Aroi Mak. Aroi Mak Mak. Perfect, okay. So it's fried, fried uh, bamboo worms. Okay. I'm gonna try it right now. Mmm, that's pretty good. How much is it for this one? This? 120. Mmm, 120. Yes. For a small thing, it's 120. Oh wow, okay. Well, thank you very much, cup and cup. Very nice. So yeah, the warmers were pretty good actually. Very nice and crunchy, nice flavor. You know, a little bit salty, and uh, the warms themselves. There's no weird flavor at all. It's, it tastes pretty good. If you're here, you might as well try them.
now the local market here in Chinatown has been setting up the last hour or so. It is kind of almost full blown now. The sun has not even set, but the market is going already. I'm gonna try my very first thing at the edge of the market. These are little tiny sausages that they dip into this sauce. They've been soaking them in this Thai kind of hot pot thing. So I'm gonna have to try it right now and see what it's like because uh, I'm a big fan of Thai hot pot and these sausages are looking good. One beef. One beef? Yeah. And five. Oh, perfect. Okay. One beef. And dip it in that. Uh, put, put, put is okay too. Is, can we dip it spicy. in the put, put? Yeah, spicy. Looking good. Wow. Uh, a little bit of that too. No yeah. It's okay. A little bit. Thank you. Top and top. Top. Thank you. This stand is right next to 7-Eleven, right at the edge of the market, so you can find it pretty easily. And uh, yeah, gonna give this a try. These are the beef sausages. I've been having a lot of pork lately, so I decided to go with beef. The sauces that they put on this looks amazing too. It's almost like a Mexican style salsa, very spicy apparently. So let's give it a try. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. These are really good. I'm not a big fan of the actual beef. A little bit weird tasting, but the spicy sauce they put on is so good. Very refreshing, lots of cilantro, some chili peppers, and it's just very fresh and fragrant. Yeah, the cilantro is what makes it better. Mm, the freshness of that sauce that goes on top, it's just killer. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna try the pork ball now. Can I get more, 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 more? Oh yeah, a little bit of that too. Pork is always better here in Thailand, honestly. I just really thought the beef ball looked really, really good. So yeah, now I'm gonna be mixing the sauce in with the pork and mixing that in nicely. So yeah, they just put on some more cilantro. So you can see the pieces of cilantro on here. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow. It's just so fresh. The sauces. The pork is way better than the beef, honestly. Always go with pork when you're in Thailand. And if you don't eat pork, because you go for halal type things, then go with chicken. Beef is always kind of the um, lesser of the best. Mm, this is absolutely amazing though. And the thing that reinsures me that this place is a very legit Thai stand is that the locals are coming up and buying stuff from here consistently. Every minute someone comes up, so you know it's gonna be really very high quality products. Oh, what is this one here? Chicken. Chicken, and this is, uh, this one is squid and then the crab. And then we got some shrimp right here. Shrimp and then fish. The second thing that I'm gonna try in this market is the crabs. So there's these fried crabs that are soft shell. They should be kind of soft, they're very small. I should be able to just crunch them and eat them. Uh, hopefully that's true. Uh, I spent 20 baht on them, which is not very much, it's about 50 cents. We got a lot of these fried crabs right here. They're still hot and looking good. So let's give these a try and see what they're like. And yeah, so this is a nice market. I definitely think it's changed over the last hour and a half that I've been here kind of observing the market, checking out all the different things that they got. I thought this was something very unique that people would want to try and uh, experience for themselves if they come here because these are like soft shell crops. They're really fun. Typically these are in the fresh water in uh, near the islands or near the coastline of Thailand. Mm. Very crunchy, almost too crunchy. Not a big fan. They're not soft shell crabs. They're just normal crabs that are fried. Just a lot of crunch to them. I don't know if I would recommend you guys try these, but you know, maybe you gotta try them for yourself. I'm gonna try a couple other things and see what I think of this market overall. I mean, there is four main markets that are going on every day. And then there's the main markets, and then there's also Saturday, Sunday daytime markets too. So there's tons of night markets, 
weekend markets, weekend night markets, all throughout Chiang Mai. So definitely keep that in mind when you come here. You want to come here on the weekend, it's the best time because you got the craziest markets, the biggest markets, always on the weekend. Here these crabs, I'm digging into a couple more crabs. I mean, they're, they got a nice little flavor to them, but they are way too salty. The body is okay. You can actually chew on the body. It's got a nice crunch on the outside, and there's some meat in here. Not too much, but enough. But yeah, the legs, just way too crunchy. The claw. Oh, this is two, 250 bucks. This is 250 bucks. Yeah. Uh, could we do 150 bucks? Is it possible 150 bucks? Yeah, 200. Baht. Oh, oh, both are 250 baht. Yeah. Uh, what about 200 baht? Is it okay? 200 baht? It's okay? Okay, okay. It's okay, 200 baht? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Swati Kap, uh, this is a... Uh, rice noodle. Rice noodle. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. You want to call yeah. Chiang Mai original. Chiang Mai, this is Chiang Mai original? Yeah. Fish. What is this one? Pork. Pork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the fish? Fish, coconut milk, fish ball. Wow. Yeah, curry chicken. Okay. That's really spicy, you not candy. Oh, I like, I like spicy. You, you have like the most spicy? spicy? Yeah. yeah, can I eat the yeah. spiciest? Yes. This one, most put put, number one put put? Yeah. Okay, I, I tried that one with noodles. Yeah. It's okay? Do you, you, you say that? Yeah. Oh, yeah I think I ate here before. How long has this been open? Oh, 30. 30 years. Yeah. I've eaten here before, 10 years yeah. ago. I didn't know where this was. Where you come from? From USA. USA, California? Yeah, California, yeah. We got the, the baby seats right here. This is where it's at, you guys. If you want the real authentic, real Southeast Asian, Thailand kind of food. This is where you're gonna find it. And this is only 30 baht, very affordable, really local. These are the most spicy noodles I'm gonna try. She said they're the most spicy. So yeah, I had to go with the most spicy. So here we go. It looks like we add a little bit of this. Do we add some of this right here? Yeah. We add yeah, a little yeah, bit, nook noi this. Okay, mix, okay, thank you. Freestyle, wow, you know English really well. Freestyle. A little bit. Nook noi, no, a lot. Okay, so it's freestyle, you guys. We can throw in whatever we want. Throw in a little bit of these cabbages right here. Okay, you guys, I got some pork skin right here, and I got my very spicy soup with some noodles. And then what we gotta add is a little bit of sprouts right here. Let's add it all the extra stuff to them. Last time I believe I got the green curry, but this time I'm going for the all out spiciest one they got. The one that they told me not to get is the one I got. I don't follow rules in Thailand. I just go with the most spicy. That's how I roll. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's got a really little bit of spicy kick. It's not so spicy for me. It's just got a little bit of that hint of spiciness. It's got some fish balls. We gotta add a little bit of rice vinegar. This is the lemon. Actually, yeah, just a little bit of this lemon stuff. Drop. Okay, let's see how it goes now. I just love how in Thailand they always make things freestyle. They never really try to limit you to using any toppings. Everything is just however you want to make it, just do it your way. So they really got the Burger King model, have it your way. They got all the toppings, everything that you'd want. You know, some people like it spicy, some people like it a little bit more on the calm side, some like it savory, some like it with a fish sauce on it, some people like it crunchy with extra vegetables, some people like to have the pork skin on their soup. I just like to eat it on the, on the side. Yeah. So this is the green curry. Yeah, green curry chicken. Ooh. Green curry guy. Yeah. 
Oh, alloy. Thank you. Alloy. One cup. Thank you very much. Perfect. So yeah, I'm about to try the green curry noodle soup with chicken. And I just topped it off with my favorite stuff here. I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar. Just a little bit, a couple drops of vinegar. And then we're ready to go. You can also add a little bit of uh, this very spicy dried pepper right here. Just a couple drops of those. Not too much. You want to taste the original product of this. Let's give this a try here. The green curry noodle soup. The green curry is way better, way more creamy and savory. Got that nice extra spicy green curry, but at the same time you got that creaminess from the coconut soup that's going on in there. The other one is not so coconutty, it's more like Tom yum, but very spicy Tom yum with fish balls in it. Mm. Definitely prefer the green curry overall, you guys. The green curry is just a staple here in Chiang Mai and in all over Thailand. You got the noodles that are just cooked to perfection and they serve the noodles on there cold and then they add the soup that's hot so it becomes very neutralized. Not super scolding hot, but kind of on the warmer side. What is that one? Yeah. That's a... Vegetarian, no meat, yeah? No meat, oh, vegetarian. Yeah, peanuts, coconut ah. milk, sugar, yeah. Oh, wow. Chicken feet, yeah. Like chicken feet, and uh, yeah. what kind of sauce? Is like yeah, same, yeah. Same as this. Yeah. And what's this one? Pork. Pork, okay. Chiang Mai original. And this yeah. is very creamy. Fish, coconut fish. milk, fish ball, yeah. Okay, coconut yeah. milk, fish ball. Looking good. <laughs> wow. Is this hot right now? Hot. Hot? Yeah. Is this one hot? Or one of these? Uh, hot. Very hot? Hot. Good. Yeah, hot. Okay. okay, perfect. Hot. Hot. Perfect. Okay. How much for this one? Um, 65 baht for 65? one. 65? Okay. That's hot. okay. Yeah, hot. cut. Okay. Okay guys, I just got the pork belly. This is looking really good. They have got their special secret sauce, very red sauce, looking like it's got like sugar and some other spices in it. Let's give this a try. It's basically bacon essentially, but it's very thick pieces of bacon and looking really nice. Mm. Oh yeah, that's amazing. It's just a little bit of crunchy cartilage. It's kind of like the ribs or Kind of the bacon or the belly of the pig and you know, it's just got a little bit of cartilage and then it just kind of melts in your mouth it's sweet the sauce is just a perfect little rub that they put on that I can see why they get a lot of customers coming through they're all locals all regulars okay guys I am officially out of Chinatown this was great though I really loved all the different foods there but um, yeah I think the winner has to be possibly this barbecue pork or the green curry. Those were my two picks, but honestly, there are so many other things to try there that I barely scratched the surface. So let me know what your favorite dishes are in Thailand, and if you've been to that market, let me know your favorite dishes there when you went to there. See you guys next time. Make sure you watch this video down below and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me. See you guys in the next one.